Hi, I'm Rachel Lewis from the Music Business Bachelor's Program. I interviewed Jay Hirschfeld, a new friend that I actually met at the Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival. Jay is the president and CEO of Shirel Design, a design and apparel company that specializes in mixing artistic value with technology. Jay gave me a great interview and it was a pleasure learning more about him and his work. The first question I asked Jay was, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? He responded, I am first and foremost a commercial photographer and graphic designer. In this sense, visual arts to me is a matter of creating something that is aesthetically inspiring but still fulfills a need, whether it be to sell a product, advertise a service, or provide an emotional response from a consumer. This extends into fine art photography and fashion design. I believe the function of both medias is to elicit a visceral reaction from an intended audience, so much so that they feel the need to consume the experience in an attempt to seize on and replicate it. I then said to Jay, New communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this has a positive or negative influence on your field or industry? Please provide an example. He said, although much can be said about the idea that Instagram and the dawn of the cell phone camera has turned everyone into a photographer, I actually believe that there are a few other times in history where it would have been more beneficial to have formal training in the visual arts. The tools and media that are available currently means that everyone, every person, every brand communicates visually and at a rapid pace. By being able to create professional quality images quickly, there is an ability to effectively wield significant power over a digital audience that increasingly communicates using rapidly available visual imagery. I asked him, what popular images are frequently repeated throughout your industry? He replied, good question. I'm kind of in multiple industries, including fine art and commercial photography, graphic design, and fashion design. In fashion design, one of the big themes is the parody of popular logos, which is actually, in most cases, protected free speech. The Hundreds, for instance, was sent a cease and desist letter by Tommy Hilfiger after using the initials TH, which are apparently trademarked. So instead, they are releasing a parody Tommy Hilfiger logo, replaced with the words The Hundreds. This is potentially significantly more damaging to Hilfiger's brand, although it would be hard for them to pursue infringement as it is considered parody. The modification of extremely recognizable brands has been a popular way to attempt the subversion of corporate American pop culture. I also asked Jay, who is one of your favorite visual artists or what is your favorite style of visual art? He said, I am not sure he would qualify as a favorite, but Andreas Gursky, the photographer, is certainly an inspiration. His massive photographs, which sell from 75,000 to 4 million, initially spurred me to focus on extreme resolution imaging in order to obtain a massive print, only with much clearer detail than Gursky's itself. Another favorite photographer is the wonderful Martha Cooper, who showed me around Miami years ago before I realized who she was and was extremely humble but very streetwise. Peter Lick is also a huge inspiration as his photographic prints are crystal clear and as a working photographer I can only appreciate the brand he has built for himself. Finally, several of my favorite visual artists are street artists as I work a fair amount in the street art world. These include Sentu, Zmod, URNY, Ron English, Cope, Sofia Maldonado, Apex, C1, and Shore Boogie. Finally, I asked him, has knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Jay stated, I would have to think so. I think learning about pieces like Picasso's Guernica, for instance, and seeing some of the Greco-Roman statues from antiquity when I was in Berlin made a huge impact on me, so far as famous artworks go. These were pretty moving, significant pieces of artwork that was literally about the outpouring of expression and the eternalization of meaning. That said, I honestly believe that being involved in reaching out to the contemporary art movement, which again, I believe to be expressing itself in the form of graffiti and street art currently, has inspired me to never stop working with art. Some of the kindest, most genuine people I have ever met have been artists, and I believe in the same way that Picasso painted, the Roman sculptors chipped away at a marble slab, or even the painters at La Salle drew stick men that these are people who are looking simply to tell their story and convey a momentary, fleeting emotional response to their larger audience. 
I feel it is clear that Jay has studied art. He has done a great job learning from the classics and applying them to current concepts. While his company is currently a startup, I see positive things in their future. I'd like to thank Jay Hirschfeld for his time and wish him and Cheryl Design the best of luck in all future endeavors. Thank you.